Hi, welcome to This Is My Architecture, coming to you from Zurich in Switzerland. Today I have Olivier from uh, Sonar Source with us. Hi Olivier. Hi Ross. Okay, what can you tell us uh, about Sonar Source? So Sonar Source was founded 13 years ago by three developers, and the goal was to provide code analysis solutions. So today we have three products Sonar Lean, Sonar Cloud, and Sonar Cube. And we support 27 languages, programming languages, I mean. Um, and today uh, we will speak about Sonar Cloud. All right, great. That sounds, uh, that sounds great. Can you take us uh, through from the starting point of what we see on the board here? Yes, exactly. Uh, the starting point is uh, developers. Uh, as you know, developers write code and they push code into a GitHub repo most of the time. So when a code change is pushed in this, into this repo, it triggers an event, and we capture this event into this lambda. We do some triage, we do some analysis, and then we create an analysis request. It goes straight into this queue, an SQS queue. OK. Um, why do you have SQS there? Could you not speak directly to Fargate, or even have Fargate uh, picking up the message from GitHub? Now, we have many reasons to, do, to use SQS. The first reason is to level the load. We don't want to overwhelm the Fargate cluster, the service. And the second reason is for auto-scaling, because this Fargate cluster is using auto-scaling, and it's plugged directly into this queue. So the Fargate cluster, the service, will pull the queue. And then the first step is to clone the code. I can imagine that can get uh, pretty big. You know, you've got no control over how big your yes, customer's exa repos can be. Exactly. So the biggest code base is 9 gigabytes. Um, and uh, yes, it's uh, pretty big. And you use any external storage from Fargate in order to keep those repos? Or? No, no, no. We stick to the ephemeral storage. Okay. Uh, for now, it's good enough. All right, great. All right, let's uh, see what happens next. OK, so once we have the code, we can analyze this code. And once it's analyzed, we push an analysis report to this block. And uh, this CC2 uh, instance is um, receiving reports through an API. And then this report is stored into this database. Um, once it's in the database, we have this component implemented as a Fargate cluster. And this component, we call it the compute engine, will pull the database to extract reports. OK, so you're using this like a, a queuing mechanism? Yes, uh, exactly. It's a temporary storage for the reports we get from this component. And uh, the compute engine here is pulling the database to extract the reports. Once a report is uh, extracted, we do a lot of computations. We compute a lot of uh, code quality metrics. And uh, once it's done, we update uh, the database and we create an analysis report here ready to be consumed by users. Uh, I would like to mention that we store also additional data here. And uh, this data is for uh, optimization. We uh, do some search, and we need to have um, shared data in an, an optimized format. OK. And this is, is this an Amazon Elasticsearch? Yeah? No, no, not yet. Uh, today, it's an in-house uh, Elasticsearch service. But we actually plan to move to the Amazon uh, version. OK. All right. Um, and then the next step from your, your user's perspective, I assume they want to be able to see uh, the results of all of this hard work? Yes. Uh, once it's done, uh, they uh, go to the UI and they call uh, the UI or simply the API, because you can extract the same data from the two different channels, uh, the UI and the API. OK. Great. Um, and what does this look like in the real world? How, how, how much is this being used? Uh, for auto-scan specifically, we analyze up to 150k analysis per week. And uh, Sonar Cloud is part of an ecosystem. Um, we basically support um, around 300,000 organizations. Those are some. Those are some really big numbers. That's been uh, that's been great. What's what's next? What, what's coming next? Uh, many things. Uh, one of the, the first thing we want to do is to move to a uh, managed Elasticsearch service, and uh, a second important point would be to remove the queue we have in Aurora and to use a proper queue, uh, an SQS queue. Ah, oh, okay. OK, get some optimization there. Mm -hmm. And any, anything from a product perspective? Uh, from a product perspective, for now, Autoscan does not support comp uh, compiled languages. We support non-compiled languages, such as TypeScript, Python, and so on. And uh, the next step is to support Java, 
and C sharp. Oh, Olivier, thank you uh, for sharing that. That was uh, really interesting. Welcome. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.